The Brighton man found guilty of second degree murder in a 40 year old murder case has been sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. In September, James Krausneck was convicted of murdering his wife, Kathy, in 1982. Christian Garzone joins us live now from the Hall of Justice with more from today's sentencing. Christian. Well, back in September, James Krausnick was held without bail until his sentencing today. And James Krausnick did make a plea in front of the judge saying, this is all still very hard to talk about. All he can see in his head is his wife, Kathy, with an ax in the back of her skull and thinking of his little daughter, Sarah, home alone all day in that house back in 1982. He said the loss of Kathy and raising Sarah was difficult, and he misses Kathy so much, adding he was, uh, sh excuse me, she was his one and only love. Daughter Sarah did speak as well today, defending her father, James. The judge did ultimately say, though, James Krausnick is guilty. The past 40 years, he said, you've enjoyed your life. Kathy has not had that chance. You took it from her. A jury determined Krausnick killed his wife in February of 1982 on Del Rio Drive in Brighton. All of this despite a confession by another man, a confession, though, that had holes in it. The case was revisited in 2015, and new technology showed that the only person home at the time of Kathy's death was her husband, James Krausnick. Police found the evidence tough to ignore and arrested James back in 2019. Here's the prosecution and the father of Kathy Krausnick. Everybody told us we couldn't win a 40-year-old case, but we did. How do you feel hearing the verdict? Well, very, very good. We had a good uh, top investigators and top uh, att attorneys. Uh, we believe that Judge Shano ran a great trial, that his decisions leading up to trial were legally sound and correct, and, uh, you know, we're, we're hopeful that the, the appellate division will obviously agree with the Judge Shano as, um, you know, we, have, we don't have any concerns that this, will, this verdict and sentence will be upheld. And coming up at 6, we'll hear from the former Brighton police chief who helped get this case uh, reopened. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Teresa, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. We have complete coverage and a full timeline of events over at on our website, rochesterfirst.com.